Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about Baker's cyst. Baker's cysts, also known as popliteal cysts, are one of the most common disorders in the knee. These fluid filled cysts form at the back of the knee in the area called the popliteal fossa. It is actually enlargement of a bursa that sits between the gastrocnemius muscle called the gastrocnemius semimembranosus bursa. Baker's cyst forms in adults as a result of degeneration of the knee joint. Baker's cyst is often not a problem, but may cause stiffness and discomfort. The knee joint is made up of the lower ends of the femur, upper end of the tibia, and the patella. The articular cartilage covers and protects the ends of the bone, where they meet to form a joint. The knee joint is filled with a clear fluid called synovial fluid that acts as a lubricant to help reduce friction between the joint. Small fluid-filled sacs called bursa cushion the joint and the area and help reduce friction between the muscles and the surrounding structures. Baker's cysts was first described by Dr. William Morant Baker. Most cysts are asymptomatic, so they don't have symptoms, and are detected incidentally by an imaging study performed for some other reason. The cyst is actually an enlarged gastrocnemus semimembranosus bursa, located between the gastrocnemus muscle. The bursa, or cyst, can be either communicating with the synovial fluid or not. So, in children, there is no communication, and the Baker's cysts arise strictly from the bursa. In adults and older people, which is more common, Baker's cysts arises secondary to degenerative or inflammatory joint diseases or joint injuries. They usually communicate with the adjacent knee joint space. As a result, the Baker's cysts normally contain synovial fluid. The most common joint disorders causing Baker cysts in adults and the elderly include osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and meniscal tears. Clinical presentation. The clinical features of a popliteal cyst or Baker cyst are influenced by the size of the cyst. Baker cyst is typically identified incidentally on imaging for some other reason. Baker cysts are normally asymptomatic. However, one can develop posterior knee pain, knee stiffness, and swelling, or notice a mass behind the knee, especially if the knee is extended. Patients frequently report discomfort with prolonged standing and with hyperflexion of the knee. On physical examination, there can be a medial popliteal mass that is most prominent with the patient standing with the knee fully extended. For sure sign is where you have swelling that softens or disappears when the knee is flexed to 45 degrees. Complications of Baker cysts. If it enlarges, it can compress adjacent structures such as the vein causing lower leg and ankle swelling due to venous obstruction. Other complications could include dissection or rupturing of the actual cyst, and this can cause erythema and swelling around the area, which could be misdiagnosed as a deep vein thrombosis. Investigations. Diagnosis of Baker cyst is based on history and examination. If uncertain, an ultrasound or a X-ray of the area can be used. An MRI scan can also be used of the knee. Management of Baker's cyst. If symptomatic, treat the underlying joint pathology, such as osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, or the meniscal tear. With adult patients who have symptoms, Ultrasound-guided direct aspiration of the popliteal cyst can be used. 
followed by injection of glucocorticoids to help reduce pain and inflammation. Finally, surgical excision of the Baker's cyst could also be done. In summary, Baker's cysts are fluid-filled cysts that form at the back of the knee. Baker's cysts forms in adults as a result of a degeneration of the knee joint. Baker's cyst is often not a problem, but may cause stiffness and discomfort. Treatment is only done if the patient is symptomatic. Thank you for watching.